Namaskar. Myself, Dr. Anla K. Shetty from NFI Specialty Hospital, Korean by Manual. I am here to talk about yoga on well being. Well, the entire world is under stress. This virus has affected practically the entire globe. People are continuously under stress, anxiety, worry, which is leading to enormous health issues. If we get under continuous stress, anxiety, our immunity is going to get compromised. We are going to catch up with any infections very easily. So now, what to do? Yoga makes it very much clear that you have to do your duty. The entire world is doing their duty. The doctors are doing their job, the scientists are doing their job, everybody is doing their part. And so you have to do your part. Yoga gives a clear guidelines regarding how to do your duty. Your duty is to take care of yourself, how to lead a healthy life, how to enhance your immune system so that you can overcome such infections, certain health related issues. Earlier also so many infections, viruses have come and gone. So many problems have come and gone. They don't stay with us. So don't worry. Yoga has always been of great help to be physically and psychologically fit. More than ever, the need for practicing yoga has been felt in the recent times of COVID-19. In the COVID-19 pandemic times, it is not guaranteed that yoga will completely prevent the infection. But practicing yoga modules will surely help us to develop our immune system by boosting our immune system. During this ongoing coronavirus pandemic, when we are all bound to lead a restricted life in a constant fear of infection risk, it is natural for anyone to develop anxiety. The continuous flow of negative news, the inadequacy of daily resources, and mere thought of your future is adding to our growing anxiety and depression. Being confined in home for such a long period of time is mentally challenging for us. During this time, it is important to understand that with the physical health, even mental health is important for survival. To help with this growing level of anxiety and depression, we must lead a healthy lifestyle, stay connected with our loved ones and practice yoga at home. Now you might question me why yoga? Continuous anxiety or stress can manifest many health related issues such as high blood pressure, high blood sugar levels, tension, mental anxiety, breathing issues etc. Stress is the element that triggers our sympathetic nervous system causing all the health issues in and in such situations yoga can help us stay calm. The certain yoga modules such as certain asanas, pranayama, certain purificatory procedures, meditation and relaxation techniques help us to stimulate our parasympathetic nervous system and overcome all these health related issues by normal functioning of our systems and also it aids in relaxing our mind. To live through this lockdown and pandemic period, yoga is the best thing to adopt as a lifestyle modification habit. It helps us to build a strong physical, mental and spiritual health. There are different forms of yoga that can help us to stay physically strong and mentally balanced. Yoga brings its own flavor and adds benefits to its table which can be performed by all the people of all age groups and provides you with a holistic sense of health. 
which is especially required during this times of COVID-19 pandemic. Well, we are all celebrating the 7th International Yoga Day. International Yoga Day or International Day of Yoga is celebrated every year on 21st of June. The United Nations has marked the day to raise awareness about the many benefits of yoga for people all over the globe. Apart from physical and mental relaxation, yoga also helps to develop strength, flexibility and resilience which is especially very essential in these times of pandemic as our physical and mental health is under dire stress. Recognizing this important role of yoga, this year's theme for International Yoga Day focuses on yoga for well-being. Yoga can promote the holistic health of every individual. By practicing yoga-based lifestyle modification, one is going to improve his general immunity it is also going to help pre-health habilitation of vulnerable populations such as children, elderly or those suffering from comorbid illness such as high blood pressure, high blood sugar levels or any cardiac ailments and those also suffering from COVID-19 with mild symptoms, those who are there in isolation or quarantine. So, I am going to mention few of the simple and safe yoga modules that can be practiced on daily basis by everyone to improve their general health in totality. First asana, swastik asana. It is considered to be an auspicious asana, so we shall start first with swastik asana. Next, Tadasana. Pada Hastasana. Ardha Chakrasana Trikonasana Vajrasana Shashankasana Janu Shirshasana
ಪವನ ಮುಕ್ತಾಸನ ಭುಜಂಗಾಸನ ಶಲಭಾಸನ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಸನಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸೇಟಿವ್ ಪೋಸ್ಚರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಶವಾಸನ ಶವಾಸನ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ place your right hand on your stomach left on your chest as you inhale your stomach should come out as you exhale your stomach should move in here the breathing is conscious breathing you have to consciously breathe in and breathe out next is shavasana 2 place both the hands on the ground palm facing up and breathe normally now we shall start with pranayama first sit in any meditative posture such as sukhasana or swastikasana place both the hands in chin mudra Keep your back and neck straight, close your eyes and breathe normally. Inhale deeply. First pranayama is Ujjayi pranayama. Place both the hands in chin mudra. Inhale deeply by contracting your throat region. exhale normally repeat it for 10 counts next pranayama nadi shodhana pranayama hold your right hand in mrigi mudra close your right nostril with a thumb finger inhale through your left nostril close exhale through your right nostril once again inhale through your right nostril close and exhale through your left nostril this makes one count once again inhale through your left nostril close exhale through your right inhale through your right nostril close your right nostril and exhale through your left as such 11 counts next pranayama surya breathana pranayama close your left nostril inhale and exhale only through your right nostril one inhalation and exhalation makes one count as such 10 counts next pranayama brahmari pranayama inhale normally while exhaling you need to produce a honey bee sound inhale exhaling produce honey bee sound 
module is the meditation sit in any comfortable posture swastikasana sukhasana place both the hands in chin mudra as you inhale mentally chant so as you exhale mentally chant hum so Rub both your palms. Place it over your eyes. Slowly open your eyes. I recommend everybody to practice these yoga modules on empty stomach to increase or enhance your immune resilience. We do carry out regular classes for yoga in our hospital from Monday to Saturday timings from 6 to 8 in the morning and 4 to 6 in the evening once again i wish all a very happy international yoga day